Hey! Welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. I made a TikTok and it kind of blew up and it is me using the new Shark Flex Style Hair Dryer which is pretty much like the same exact thing as the $600 Dyson Air Wrap but it's like a little over $200. This video is not sponsored. I did do a sponsorship for Shark for a Reels but my TikTok that I posted and this video is not sponsored. I genuinely do kind of just want to show you guys this product because I know Christmas is coming up as well. At the end of the video, you can have your opinion, but it's like better than the Dyson Airwrap. We all know our trusty Dyson Airwrap. I love her. You know, we don't dislike her now, but like she is bougie and expensive. I only bought her for a YouTube video and that is this. If you want to go watch this, you can watch it. I use my Dyson Airwrap all the time. It is my first choice above everything because of its technology to not damage your hair as much with heat. So that is why I love this thing so much. But when I heard about this guy, I was like, hmm, interesting. It uses the same exact technology. It's called like Coanda technology. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm just going to take you through all the parts that I have. So you got this thing. This is like what powers it, right? And then you have this, which is the hair dryer. It's like the pre-styling type of tool. When I first saw it, I'm like, okay, this would be like a little awkward. That's cool. And you blow dry your hair, you know? That's the blow dry tool. Then we got our round brush, you know, the one that gives you a bunch of volume. This is my favorite. The Dyson one is a lot smaller than this one. I didn't know which one I was going to like better. I can say I probably like them equally, but I will say the Shark does dry it so, so much faster. And this one gives you more of a curl. This is like definitely more of a blowout. This is more of a curly blowout. Either way, they're still like both really great for our curl girls we have the flat paddle brush and this is to really get your hair straight before you go in like with the other products or to just like kind of make your hair straight and then we have the auto wrap curler they have one for each direction left and right and holy crap when i tell you that these are like low-key better than the dyson air wrap they catch the hair better i don't so i'm gonna do a full tutorial on how i got that look and kind of how to use this stuff we are mainly going to be using the round brush and the curlers i usually just go in with the round brush but these types of hair dryers are kind of like famous for these auto wrap curlers because they're cool I took a shower this morning. My hair is like a little bit damp, like up in here. I only sprayed in some of the Brigio leave-in and I brushed my hair out straight and I was just like busy. So this is what we have. This is why I blow dry my hair because I've tried the curly girl routine. I've tried wavy hair routines, you know. After like one day, I don't like it and I'd rather just blow dry my hair and not have to deal with it for five days, you know? Also, my hair feels so much more healthy when I blow dry and I was actually doing research on it and it can be healthier for some people's hair to blow dry rather than let it air dry because letting it air dry, if your hair stays wet for too long, it's damaging like the cortex of your hair, making your hair like more brittle. So it could be why my hair is literally healthier like when I blow dry. Obviously, my hair is almost like all the way dry. If I came straight out of the shower, I would take this, I would point it down and just rough dry my hair to about 80 to 90 percent. You don't really want to go in with these curlers on sopping wet hair and you don't want to go in with these on sopping wet hair. As a mistake I've made in the past, these are styling tools, not drying tools. If you do go in with them on sopping wet hair, you're gonna have to go over a million times. It's just like really, really damaging to have your hair on a hot surface for like that long. I am going to spray my Hair just with a little bit of water because it is like a little bit too dry. Taking a section from behind my ear is going straight back and start from the bottom. I'm gonna take some of my heat protectant and this is by Maria Nilla. I spray in sections just to really make sure my hair is like protected. But yeah, I used to like not believe in heat protectant. I don't know why. I just didn't. It's amazing and it's like what keeps my hair healthy. It is raining right now and it's about 100 degrees. It is so humid and disgusting outside that my hair is just like 
I'm gonna take some of this Lonza healing oil. It's a shine spray, but I add like literally two sprays of that. I'm first going to be taking the round brush. Taking a section about this big, you can go in with pretty big sections with this, which I really love because with the Dyson, it has to be like a small section. I like the Dyson, it uses the same exact technology and it has a cool button. Right here you have your heating settings and there's three heating settings. I will never go on the third setting. I always go on the first or the second. Right here you have your fan. And I usually just go on like the highest fan or like medium if it's like blowing away too much. You're gonna take it, you're gonna go kind of like slow. I go this direction and then I go in this direction and then I'm going to go like this. Boom, boom. Hold it for like six, seven seconds because you've already had on your hair. Then you're gonna shoot it with cold air, hold that for 10 seconds. And then if you want more of a curl, curl it out like that. That is if you're going for like the blowout look using this on your whole head and nothing else. But honestly, I'm using the curlers. So I'm just going to go like this and then go like this because I'm just trying to smooth out my hair as much as possible. Okay, I just wanna show you one pass. It's still a teeny bit damp, but I just wanna show you how much frizz it took away and how much shine it gave it. Oh my gosh, you can just see like how shiny it is already. So I'm going to do that to this entire section. really quickly because I did get some comments on my TikTok asking if does it fall. One thing I've noticed with people with the Dyson Airwrap, a lot of people are under the impression that it's supposed to be something that is supposed to make your hair super curly and it's like a curling iron. Dyson Airwrap and this is more for a blowout look so the curls are kind of supposed to fall. They're supposed to fall and it's supposed to be a blowout but if you do want the curls to stay more because you want to use that technology that's like less heat damage and stuff and if you want a curlier blowout I would suggest going in with mousse or you do the round brush you would take the mousse you rub it in your hands to emulsify the product and you would take it section by section and then go with the blow dryer and then continue with what we're gonna do I'm going to be going in with the curlers so here's the thing I personally like my curls when I'm doing a blowout to go under to go towards your face except for the like top layer that gives like that 90s blowout inspired look I I might be going in with the opposite ones that you may use. This is like the learning curve part if you want it away from your face or towards your face. You want to do them the same on both sides, like you don't want both the sides going right or both sides going left. Obviously, if you want it away from your face, you're going to take the left, this is my left side, you're going to hold it in your left hand. Always hold it in the hand that has this on it. You want to make sure the arrows are pointing up. Can be a little bit tedious because you do need the sections to be quite small. And this is if you want it away from your face. I'm going to redo this and do it towards my face. Another tip to get the curls to stay is to put rollers in. I just love rollers. So I'm gonna do rollers. You do not have to, but since I already have a video of what it looks like without the rollers, I do wanna show you guys what it looks like with rollers if you do wanna try that. I just wanted to show you how to do that for the girlies that want it to go out, but I want it to go in, so I'm gonna have to redo that piece. I want the arrows to be going down. I feel like you guys get the point. Kind of want to do this quickly when it's still warm, get it at the very ends, and you always want to roll your rollers the same direction that you just styled them in. So I'm going to do two more sections, so they're going to be a roller in the back and a roller on the side. And for this side, I am going to have to switch the curler. Sometimes we'll go in with bigger ones on the top because I do want it to be more voluminous. Take it from like the middle of your eyebrow all the way back. And then I'm just gonna section all of this. Protectant. Shine spray. And then we're gonna smooth it.
Okay, so now we are going to do the same exact thing with this side. Take it from like this part. Wetting it a little more because it's like dried way too much. Almost done. This doesn't take that long. If you just did the curlers or just did the round brush, it takes me about 30 minutes each. Maybe 45 minutes if I'm taking my time. The first time I feel like it might take you a little bit longer because you're like trying to get the hang of it. Since I'm doing both and I really want my hair to be smooth, this is gonna take me a little bit longer. It's gonna be around like 45 minutes. section and first I'm going to take a section from the back and we when we take everything we are going to be rolling it under like this not like this <sighs> my arms are so tired <laughs> And for the top section, I am going to be going in with bigger rollers. I'm going to do the same exact thing for this whole section. sit in my hair. You can literally let these in your hair just until it's like completely cooled down but I'm going to probably leave them in for like 30 minutes and then I will be back. I'm doing a little transition video for TikTok so I put makeup on and a cute dress on so ignore that. But we are going to take these out now. And I kind of twist my rollers out. This is amazing. Question you guys are all wondering like, is the shark better than the Dyson? Yes, it just is. Honestly, I think the curlers are better. I don't know if it's because it was made more recently. So maybe they just have like better technology. I don't know how this stuff works. And I wanted to make this video because I know people make their Christmas list early. This is a yes for me. But yeah, it's better than the Dyson to me. It's also so much cheaper. A little over $200 is still a lot of money, but compared to the Dyson, in the video I filmed about the Dyson, I go through all the things you can get. With the Shark, you pick the three that you want. So if you have super duper curly hair, you can pick the diffuser, the flat brush, and like whatever else you want. I actually think that's pretty cool because like for the Dyson, I never use the flat brush. I never use the bigger curlers. I always use the smaller ones. So I'm like kind of wasting it because I'm not even using all of it all the time. So I do like that they have it so you can pick. All these vacuum companies are like coming out with hair dryers. And you know what I'm here for? It makes sense that vacuums would make hair dryers to me. I don't know why. Tell me what you think in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Again, I filmed the whole entire Dyson video. If you have the Dyson and you're like, hey, I have the Dyson and I want more tutorials for that thing. I have a whole entire video on how to get like the perfect 90s blowout with the Dyson. And if you have like the Revlon curler and all that crap, 
I have videos for that as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My life breaks the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Hey, always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gonna throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gonna get my drug use more dosage.